Hey, hey, queens and kings, welcome back and thanks for watching. In today's video, I have some more Christmas DIY, these four gorgeous DIY slash revamps. If you all would like to see how I pray, please continue to watch. Say that's ring. Take it, just be. All right, queens and kings. So starting off with DIY number one, which this is more like a three in one where I'm going to be doing three different styles of Christmas trees, affordable and easy. As you guys can see here, I have a white styrofoam. I had this for a little minute, but you can find it at Walmart, maybe also at Dollar Tree. That's if they carry. I do know they have the green one, but I'm using some crystals here, some faux crystals that I got from Amazon. I believe that I got these from Amazon, but I had them for a while. So I'm going into my stash, trying to create some affordable Christmas DIYs for you all. So all of them doing here is basically placing some hot glue down and placing a crystal on it. And I'm gonna do this until I cover the whole entire Christmas tree. Now, the hot glue that I am using is Gorilla Glue Sticks. I have a lot of you queens and kings that ask me what type of glue sticks that I do use. And that's the one that I use. And you can find those at Walmart or any craft store. No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose. When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes. Bring the bees, bring the trees, bring the trees, put the lights up. All right, so moving on to the base here, as you guys can see um the hot glue is melting the phone so i advise you all to use some type of adhesive but i'm using a dollar tree round mirror to secure it as a base now for this here tree here i thought i was recording but i wasn't until my daughter came and said mom you're not recording so i lost the first footage of it but the only thing i'm using here is some ribbon that i got from hobby lobby and a dollar tree paper towel holder and i'm just gonna create me a velvet tree you know you guys have seen these little gorgeous velvet trees around now for the holidays so i decided to try to recreate the look by using stuff that i do have in my home so what i do is measure the length of however long i need to cut the ribbon i fold it i place some hot glue down on one end and i fold it to make it like a bow and arrow a pointy end so therefore i can actually glue it on top of the paper towel and then I scratch it out. And as you guys see, I cut it and I will glue it underneath of the paper towel. So I'm going to show you guys pretty much what I'm doing here. So I fold each end like a bow and arrow, however you want to describe it. Easy and simple. And I place a small amount of glue and I'm going to place that on top of the other piece of ribbon that I placed up to the top. Scratch it out. We're going to cut and we're gonna place some hot glue and secure that underneath. And I'm gonna continue doing this going all the way around or you can do from one side to the other side, however you want to do, but this what works for me.
All right. So did you guys hear that? That was just a piece of cardstock paper. And all I'm doing here is basically rolling this up into a cone. I'm trying to make the pointy end as tight as possible. But if you can't make it possible, that's okay. You can always place something on the top of it. And then see how we have our simple easy cone there. We're just going to have some hot glue to secure that easy and simple. Use the stuff that you have in your house to create these fancy images and looks or home decor that we see in the store. They doing the same thing. So why can't we? <laughs> why not? So anywho, so that can stand up straight. I'm just going to take my scissor and cut that until I can actually get my cone to stand as sturdy as possible. Okay, you guys know I had to have some glam. I had to, to make this little simple, easy car stock into something beautiful. So basically here, I'm showing you all this little bling rhinestone wrap that you have seen me use several times that I purchased from Amazon. It is no more than $9, I believe. And all I'm gonna do is just wrap that around this cone here, just to jazz it up, to glam it up, to make it a little bit more fancy, just to make it look more expensive than cheap. You know, something simple and beautiful. And I'm gonna keep on doing that until I get the desired look that I want. It's up to you how many times you want to wrap it around, how tight, how loose. That is all up to you. Do whatever make your heart smile. Okay, Queens and Kings, so this is my cone. This is how it looks, simple, and pretty, and sparkle. Just how I like it, just simple and pretty. I just want to do something different. That's pretty much why I actually decided to do this look, because I actually played with it off camera, and I was like, why not record it? Why not? So here I'm going to take some snowflakes, uh, rhinestone snowflakes that I got from Totally Dazzle, Totally Dazzle. So they have a lot of gorgeous pieces, so check out the link down below because I am affiliated with it. So if you guys would like to get you a little discount, check them out down below and go ahead and purchase. So all I'm going to do is glue these two snowflakes together, which is going to be my tree topper. Gorgeous, right? Isn't that pretty? Look how sparkly it is. And all I'm going to do is just secure that together with hot glue. Place some hot glue on top of my cone and i'm going to stick that directly on there like a gorgeous tree topper on top of a tree okay queens and kings so here are all three of my gorgeous easy and affordable diy trees i love each and every one of them the bling the crystals as well as the velvet I love it. I so easy and affordable. Where children lighting up the Christmas tree and the snow is falling. Now this one here is more of like a hack or slash revamp, whatever you desire to call it. Here I have some reindeers that I purchased from Five and Below for just only what? A good whopping three dollars. Oh dear. Christmas is here. <laughs> but I'm just gonna take this red spray paint. I was looking for something a little bit darker, but Walmart did not have, so I had to go with what I have can find. So all I'm doing here is basically just spray painting them, making them red, making them whatever color you desire, whatever color you have in your home. This is a easy and affordable hack to do. You ain't gotta go spend the big banks. You ain't gotta do all that. You don't have to get a high gloss like spray paint like I did. You can actually just get a matte and it still will be as beautiful and affordable. And here is my dears gorgeous right now you know i had to bling them out so i just placed some bling around the ankles i would say i'm not sure what you call them and as around her neck and place a cute little bow on her and some bling for the eyes love it oh dear is falling all right queens and kings so for my third diy but my favorite diy now this one here is easy and affordable to do as well if you could find the items at the dollar tree but i couldn't so therefore i'm using these 
container here are these cylinders that i purchased from hobby lobby now last year before dollar tree used to have the wine bottle cylinder um cylinders but i couldn't find those so therefore i had to go this route here and buy hobby lobby to have them on sale so i've just purchased them so as i'm doing here i'm basically securing them with high glue to secure those together i'm gonna apply some more hot glue in between the creases just to give the extra support baby this year it's just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill all right queens and kings next up is this gorgeous velvet red velvet fabric that i purchased from hobby lobby and by right now i think hobby lobby have their fabric on sale for 25 percent off it's $15.99 a yard so i got it for like 12 dollars, i believe but all i'm doing here is basically going to place some hot glue in the middle between the two cylinders to give me like a seamless look for where i'm going to start as well as end now queens again whenever you are securing this fabric around the containers you want to pull it real tight because you want it to lie as flat as possible and i'm using my scissors to help secure it down because it's hot glue and you don't want to burn yourself now i'm going to place the hot glue around the beginning the top of the um, containers as well as the bottom and once again like i say pull very tightly and i'm going to continue doing this all the way around the melodies until the sun comes up these are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill you guys can see i'm making it to the end where i'm where i begin is basically where i'm going to finish and i'm going to cut the extra fabric off now i did lose some footage of me gluing the fabric down um on the bottom where i did cut off the extra fabric so you guys won't see that and as you guys can see here as well i do have like a hangover of fabric at the top and i'm just placing some hot glue to secure that over just to give a more seamless look now as you guys can see the inside here you will see the inside at the end that doesn't bother me but you could put fabric or paint it or whatever it's up to you so basically now i'm going to take this faux fur ribbon that i pur purchased from big lots a while back i had it in my stash like everything else and I'm just going to secure that to the bottom. Now, at this moment here, you all should know what I'm actually making. Basically, I'm doing a wine holder container, but look like Santa pants. Now, I got this image or this idea from Pottery Barn, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, I want to recreate that look or that image. And I thought it was so cute. So, that's for I decided to do it and show you all. Now, as you guys can see from at the bottom of the containers or the pants i should say at this point here you see where i have glued the rest of the extra fabric underneath now that's the part that i did lost footage of my camera stopped working or my phone cut off so somebody had to call a text or something and just messed me all up but it's an easy fix it's something you guys can do without me actually had to physically tell you guys this part so here's just going to cut off the extra fabric of the faux fur and we're going to secure that as well place some hot glue down and we're going to fold that into the crease like i said once again where you begin at that's where you want to start at i meant start at and finish it y'all know what i'm saying child i'm tired now it's 12 o'clock at night when i'm doing this voiceover i'm tired here so but anyways i'm loving how this look if you queens and kings love it please hear it Give me a big thumbs up and share it at this moment here. And comment down below and let me know. 
Now, I'm going to take some more of this gorgeous rhinestone wrap that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now, as you guys can see, it does have a sticky adhesive backing on it, but it's forgivable as you guys can see. Now, this is where I realized like, okay, now this is not the look that I want, the image that I was going for. So I ripped that up, but you do see it took some of the fabric of the red off, but that's okay. That is okay. So I'm just going to center that because now I want to make this look like Santa belts or center belt i should say and i'm gonna do the front as well as the back Okay, so here I'm just going to take a earring that I purchased for, I don't know, child, I just know I kept it because it had bling on it. But I'm going to use it to make the image of the buckles for the belt. Creative, right? I know, it just blew your mind just there. I know, I know, I know, because it did for me too at the moment. But anywho, I'm basically just taking the extra off that I don't need, and I'm going to place some hot glue on each end. And as you guys can see, it's already give you the image of the buckle, and I'm just going to secure that directly on top of that bling. Making our Christmas memories. Now, here, this part here, I'm going to use these as the suspenders. I think that's how you pronounce them or whatever. But instead of me taking the bling wrap off of the paper, I'm going to leave it on it because I don't want the tackiness to stick to the ballers or anything that I put in. So I'm just going to trim off the extra. I'm not even sure what you call it, but y'all see what I'm doing. Y'all see what I'm doing. And I'm going to secure it like this. I'm going to glue it on the inside of it so you don't see that. And voila magic ho 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 santa is here with wine honey stella wine <laughs> stella rose stella rose <laughs> black at that but i love the way these came out i admit i love the way this came out this is so gorgeous i thought it was so unique and so beautiful and you know i had to make it sparkle and bling so therefore it would be my taste but you can make it your taste whatever that may be but i love it queens and kings i love it now can't you guys see why i love this why this was my favorite this is so beautiful it could be making for a gorgeous gift like yes now moving on to the last and final diy here which is more of like a hack or whatever you want to call it now i had already made the pillow i already made it so basically i'm doing a no sew pillow here i'm basically showing you guys how i made it with the extra fabric that i have from hobby lobby i just fold it into half and i took some hot glue and secure two ends before I did the third end. The third side here, basically where you're gonna stuff it in and put your cotton in. But before you do that, you need to turn it inside out. Everyone have seen how you did a no-sew pillow. I hope you have. If not, you can actually Google it. Google it or look it up here on YouTube. I have done it several times, so that's the reason why I have not done it at this moment here. So here, I'm just getting all my size and everything all out and creased out. And as you guys can see, it's going to be a lumbar pillow. Gorgeous, right? And I just love this velvet. Now here I'm just showing you guys where you can fold the ends in and place some hot glue to secure it down. But don't do that just yet, honey. You got to stuff the pillow. But it's just giving you an example of telling you guys a show and tell. Anywho, anyways. But before I do that, I'm going to make this pillow look like a gift. Now here I'm going to take some more of this rhinestone wrap that I got from Hobby Lobby. But once again, I had it in my stash. Catch this one is on sale. But... Here, I'm basically applying the um, bling wrap on the pillar. Now, you don't have to do this. It's just another idea or look. But I think, for me, I do like it plain more than I like this gift wrap look here. Now, at this moment, it looking like a cross. But Jesus is the reason for the season. But that's not what we're trying to make at this point. We're trying to make it look like a bow, a ribbon, around a gift. And so, therefore, I brought it up a little bit. And I'm just going to continue doing that until I actually basically get the look and the image that I want. Now, this, is, this part is up to you. And here she is. Gorgeous, simple, and blingy. I love it at this point here, but I don't love it. 
I don't love it. So I took the bling off after I got the recording though. But anyways, queens and kings, I hope you guys enjoyed these four easy and affordable simple DIYs. If you all did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the council. Turn on your post notification bell. And with that being said, queens and kings, thank you guys so much for your support and love. And I will talk to you all in the very next video. And you guys continue to be royal. Bye-bye.